the rolling thunder Thy power throughout the universe displayed Then sings my soul Now we're going to pray for India. It's about a little over 10 minutes. We're going to cover many different points. 2 Chronicles 7.14, God says, if God's people will humble themselves and pray. Let's take time to ask God to cleanse us of arrogance, pride, and every sense of superiority. That God will help us clothe ourselves with humility. We'll just take some time, 20 seconds, to be quiet, and then one person can lead out in prayer for another 20 seconds. In that same verse, God also calls us to pray and seek his face, turning away from our wicked ways. Let's commit ourselves to walk God's way. Let's repent where we see our lacks and shortcomings. Let's seek God's forgiveness. We are now moving forward to pray for seven healing points for the nation. The first heading is healing of the physical, the body, in this time of COVID-19. Uh, there are three points here and 
three people can pray for a point each pray for those infected the seniors and others who are vulnerable and those very specially who have lost loved ones We come to our next heading uh, under healing of the physical. Um, let's thank God for those who are in the front line of this battle against COVID. Let's pray for their special protection. Let us pray for the development that is needed in the medical infrastructure and related areas. Also for the development of vaccines and the other requirements we have for the fight against COVID. We want to pray for the leadership of the nation at this time, both at the center and state, as well as the local level, district and panchayat. Let's pray that God will help them. And also for the democratic institutions and the ru ruling party, as well as the opposition parties. Let's also uh, thank God for all the schemes put forward by the governments. And uh, let's pray that it'll meet the needs of those who need it. Can one person lead us in prayer for the healing of the minds of people? Can one person lead us in praying for this area, much needed, uh, freedom from depression, fear, and like issues. The healing of relationships in the family as well as outside the family. Second, communities in our country for peaceful coexistence. Third, that the nations would help one another in this time of crisis. Let's pray for the healing of society. Let's pray for unity, communal harmony, harmony of people from 
different religious backgrounds. Also, social harmony of castes and sub-castes and tribal groups. There'll be harmony and unity in the nation. heading we have is the healing of the land. Let's pray for the migrant workers and their families. They have gone through horrible hardship. Second point, pray for the restoration of the economy and um, the in different areas. Also, let's pray for employment amidst job losses. Pray for healing, blessing, and the salvation of our nation. Let's also take time to pray for 10 people around us who don't know Jesus. Let's pray for them by name. Today is the day of Pentecost. Let's pray God will pour out His Spirit upon all the churches in India. And finally, let's pray that God would empower us to do the work he has called us to do. Faithful in intercessory prayer. And the second point, faithful in proclaiming the good news to people who don't know Jesus. Our Father in heaven. Our Father in heaven. Our Father in heaven. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts. And forgive us our debts. As we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. But deliver us from the evil one. But deliver us from the evil one. But deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. 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 Amen.